Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Roman numerals. In this tutorial we are going to go through converting Roman numerals up to 200. So let's have a look at our first example. Let's suppose we have this number 126. Now how would we write that down in Roman numerals? Well, as we always do, and you will know this from previous tutorials, we always start with the digit on the left. In this case, it is 100. How do we write 100? That is C. That is 100. Next, we're going to do the tens. How many do we have? We've got 20. How do we write those down? Well, that's nice and easy. It's 10, 20. And lastly, we're going to do the units, which is 6. How do we write those down? Well, that's simply V, I. And we're going to label these as well. There's a 6. So 126 in Roman numerals is C, X, X, V, I. Now let's have a look at the next one. Suppose we've got now 144. 144. So how would we write that down in Roman numerals? Well, first we start with the digit on the left. That is 1, and that is 100. And we know to write 100, we simply write a C. Next, we do the tens, which is 4. We got 40. How do we write 40? Don't forget, it is 10 before 50. So that becomes 10 before 50, or 10 less than 50. In fact, we're going to label these as well, just so that it's very clear. That's the 100, and that is the 40. So now the last one is the units, which is 4. How do we write 4? It is 1 less than 5. So that is how we write down 144. In Roman numerals, it is CXLIV. CXLIV. Now let's have a look at one more. And this time, I want you to do this. We've got 178. Now I want you to work through this. Have you got the answer? Well, I'm going to do this one very quickly, just to show you how quickly you can do this. Firstly, we got 100. Then we've got 70. 70 is 50, 60, 70. And lastly, we've got 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. And that is 178. And just to explain it, that's 178. So that is how we convert numbers up to 200, between 100 and 200, into Roman numerals. Now let's suppose it is reversed. We've now got the Roman numeral and we want to work out what it represents. So let's look at our first example. Suppose we have C, X, 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 I, I, I. Now that looks a bit complicated, doesn't it? Well, it's not. So how would we do it? Well, we start on the left-hand side. We've got a C, so we just stop here. That is 100. Next, if we've got three-digit numbers, it's quite often we'll have either an X or an L. Not always, but quite often. So therefore, now we've got X, and we carry on until we come to an I or a V. How many X's are there? Well, there's 10. 20, 30. There are three X's. 
And lastly, we do the units, three of them. So this Roman numeral C X X X I I I represents number 133. Let's have a look at the next one. This time we've got C L I X. C L I X. Now what number does that represent? Well again we start on the left hand side. We've got a C, just one of them, so that is 100. What else do we have next? We've got an L and we stop at the I or the V. What is L? L is 50. And lastly we've got IX. What is IX? It is 1 before 10 or 1 less than 10. That is 9. So therefore CLIX is number 159. Let's look at one final example. Suppose this time we've got CXCV. CXCV. Now this one looks a little bit tricky, doesn't it? Well, let's work through it. We've got C to begin with. That is 100. What do we have next? X. We carry on until we come to an I or a V. So that is XC. What is XC? That is 10 less than, or you can say before, 100. XC is 10 less than 100. So that is 90. And lastly, we've got the V, which is 5. So C, X, C, V is number 195. Even that was straightforward. So that is how we do Roman numerals and how we convert the numbers into Roman numerals and convert Roman numerals into numbers. Have a practice with a few numbers.